Good morning. Today we will learn how to migrate WHMCS from one cPanel to another cPanel or one domain to another domain. Let's start our video. First of all, log in your source cPanel, then click on Softacolus app installer tab and WHMCS. You will redirect to this page, then click on All Installation tab. You can see that there is an option. Now click on Backup. Then after this, you need to click on Backup Installation. The backup installation takes time as uh, per data and your server speed. In our case, it will take one or two minutes only. Let me pause the video until database generation complete. Now you can see that our database creation or backup generation has been completed. Then after this, click on cPanel button and move to the file manager then softacolus backup tab this is the backup that we have recently created now the next thing we need to create do is first of all we will change permission let me grant all permissions here permission has been updated to triple seven now then after this I will move it to public underscore HTML then click on move file has been moved to public underscore WHMCS this is the file now the next thing we need to do is just open this link and copy this file name and then place slash and file name and select all and copy then after this hit enter you can see that this is a downloadable file which can be downloaded it sizes to 13 MB let me cancel it first then after this next thing you need to open the cPanel where you need to migrate this website let me log into reseller account of my client all accounts this is the account where I need to migrate it I will log in this account here you need to go to advanced tab this is the advanced tab and uh, these are the options where you can see that we don't have any option to migrate this cPanel or use terminal now we need to do is modify account then give them shell access and hit save button now create new package update package let me update existing package then after this I refresh this cPanel login you can see that now in advanced tab we have the option of terminal Then after this you need to click I understand and wants to proceed. 
Here we use wget mon to migrate this data. And hit paste button and hit enter. You can see that our migration has been successfully done. Now the next thing you need to open file manager of the cPanel. Then create a folder name as dashboard. dashboard I'm sorry we need to create this folder this was our folder now I have removed already existing data then after this I will copy this address and go to root directory again then after this just uh, click on move and enter path then move here now you can see that we have successfully migrated data to dashboard folder now here we will simply extract zip file zip file will take time Let me pause the video until this complete. It has been completed in a very short time. Now we need to find MySQL file here. This is MySQL file with sizes 60 MB. Let me download it first downloading has been started I must need to download and restore this file until this file download I would like to pause the video welcome back now this file download has been completed then after this we need to mm, go to cPanel again go to the cPanel again then go to the database tab then click on database wizard here you need to set a database name then hit next uh, here you also need to create a database username let me copy this and paste this username again and then uh, here we need to create a password let me create a strong password copy and use password then create user then after this select all privileges and make changes now the database has been completed now go to the file manager again and open configuration.php file click on edit then edit tab here first of all I will enter password which will be here then this will be username database username and this is the database name and hit save changes now the next thing we need to do is get back to cPanel again then php my admin
here you need to select database that you have recently created then click on import button choose files and the file that you have recently downloaded then click it open then click on go button it will take a few minutes and it's depend on your internet speed let me pause the video until this upload has been finished now you can see that our database restoration has been successfully done now the next thing we need to visit this site you can see that our migration has been successfully completed and we have migrated successfully i hope this video is useful for you thanks for watching